in the summer of 2021, we had B&H come out here and drill a well. And this is where our hydrant is at in the front yard. Okay. And then they ran a water line around to the back of the cabin where we built our addition. And then we have the uh, pressure tank inside. Let me take you inside and show you what our water system setup looks like inside. This is our water system inside the house. We have a 33 gallon pressure tank right here. Um, it only holds nine gallons of water and the rest is just air pressure. And that gives us a good amount of pressure at the faucet and at the shower inside the house. So see this blue line coming in is our water. The gray line is the power that goes out to the pump. And, from the, and then this yellow line over here comes from our panel giving everything power. So you can see we have a little spigot right here and it tells us how much pressure we have and right here we're at 55 psi okay and this is our water shut on and off right here and we decided to go with pex um, piping for our uh, water uh, we just thought that would be easiest and cheapest it was really quick i did this all myself it, it took me a while to figure out and, and a lot of help and assistance but i got it done we had this nice little um pvc um, tool right here that cuts PVC pipe and uh, the PEX as well and then also this nice little PEX um, clamp tool right here it's really nice when it gets tight enough there's a blue light that comes on and tells you you've got it tight enough I think it was 50 bucks but it was well worth every penny so we decided to run all of our water straight through here into a filter first before it branched off we have two little adapters right here so we could clean our flush our water system at any time with a cleaner um, especially for the tankless hot water heater we went with the tankless hot water heater for space as well it says that you could this one says it's a 13 kilowatt water heater it says you could power I believe two showers or three faucets so when they say shower they mean shower if you try to do a bathtub you have to let it fill quite slowly we have a deep soap bathtub and it takes about 15 minutes for it to fill up so we just have to prep before we take a bath but you could see set the temperature you could set it all the way up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit okay so we came out of here into the filter branched up into hot water came off and cold water comes right past here there's a little T behind the tank as well and then over here we have ourselves little water hammer um, devices too that we put behind the bathroom faucet right here okay right over here is our shower you can see we have bathtub shower head right here and then behind the insulation we have our bathtub faucet as well Here's our deep soak bathtub. We have three kids and we wanted them to all be able to fit in there. <clears throat> and uh, it's a pretty nice bathtub. So I mean, the wife could fit in there as well. It's, it's huge. And then we have our little, you know, there's the, the pressure coming out of the bathtub. You can tell we got plenty of water coming in there. And then for the shower as well, it's really nice. And like I said, for a shower, it's super hot and great pressure but when you're taking a bath you need to really take your time and let it heat up um, we have a composting toilet right here um, i think it's the airhead composting toilet we like to set up and then we have a you know a straight valve instead of a tank we have a valve that goes over gray water for our urine 
So right here is our um, drain system for our bathroom vanity. We have our P-trap with our internal um, vent pipe right there. We didn't go through the roof like most residential homes. We also don't have just one stack. And then this goes out to gray water right there. This is our kitchen sink right here. It's pretty big. Like as you can see, the water pressure is amazing. Hot water is amazing too. And we have the exact same setup in here that we do for the bathroom. We have the P trap with the internal vent pipe going out to great water. Like I said, we didn't have a stack in the house, so we didn't want to uh, just be running lots of uh, holes through the ceiling. We are going to have to put an exhaust vent right here and one in the bathroom as well. So we figured that'd be good enough. Yay! You like a big bathtub? So, did you already use the composting for a little peeking? I have to try it. Yeah.